The smell of death lingers in my nostrils. That was no mere dream. I must seek Valka's wisdom. Mistletoe. The air hangs heavy around you, Eivor. You are troubled. I had another dream. A vision, like the last. This one full of fire. Tell me. I saw the god, Balda, broken and beaten, held captive by his suitor. I, I tried to save him, but I was defeated and left to die in a pit of corpses. When I awoke, I found this in the fold of my clothing. Baldur also dreamt of his own death. This tale I know. Afterwards, his mother Freak visited everything, living or dead, and had them swear not to harm him. But she overlooked the mistletoe bush. And so fate had its way. Not all visions are premonitions, Eivor, but all hide wisdom, if we have the wit to see it. Drink this, if you would know more. Then go to the sacred circle behind my hut. There is more mistletoe there. Lay the mistletoe around the circle. Light it, and stand within. We shall see what your dream has to teach you.
well? Javi's not well. A passing weakness. It's nothing. We should continue. Are you sure? We could rest a while. They kidnapped my son and murdered his mother. I will not rest till I repay these wrongs. Oh, forgive me. You lifted me from that fly-blown hell, set me on my feet again. You do not deserve my rage. And you do not belong among the dead. Not yet. Now come on. Your gift awaits. You still have not told me the nature of this gift, nor why you offer it. Its nature you will know soon enough. As to why, will you have seen the suffering the Muscles brought to Svartalf and... Fire and ruin and slaughter. They make wasteland of our green meadows and enslave those they didn't kill. They keep your people as slaves. Aye. Sortor works them for some dark purpose of his own. What that is, we don't yet know. We can't fight them, Javi. Our people are broken, forced into hiding. But now the tides of fate have washed the Lord of Asgard to our shores. I'm not your savior. I mean only to find my son and return him. Rid us of Surka, and you might save us nonetheless. That is why we offer you our gift. Look upon the splendor of our halls, Javi. A sight to stir a careworn heart. In all the nine worlds, the crafters of Svatalfim have no equal. They're here! They're looking for the gift. This dolt dares to steal a gift intended for me? Javi, you have to stop them! With pleasure. Keep back. I will deal with this. What are we looking for? I see nothing but stone. There should be a hidden catch. It's somewhere right about... here! Take it, Lord of Asgard. Put it on. From the dwarves of Svartalfheim to you. This is a mighty gift indeed. Told you they'd like it. With this bracer, you can draw out the essence of fallen foes, steal their powers, and make them your own. Try it now on that moose spell you killed.
feel it. Fire charges my blood. Aye, but you'll need more of it before you can take on their powers. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. It's the Essier! Sound the alarm! Powerful incentive to kill the enemies of the dwarves. Aye, it's almost as if we planned it or something. Let's be about our business quick. Where there's one more spell, there'll be others. Let them come. I have death in the fall. magic will run dry if you do not replenish it. Look around. See if there's something here that will help you to do so. The brazer grows weak. I must find a way to revitalize it. I can sense the brazer speaking to this shrine as if they are alive to one another. We must hurry. If the enemy found these hidden halls, they can find the shelter. Shelter? A sanctuary. A secret hideaway. Only the dwarves know. When the invasion began, our people took refuge in such places. But the threat of discovery means we're always on the move. Holstein and I left our own shelter in search of resources. When we returned... Everyone was gone. Leaving nothing but a secret sign to show us how to follow. That shelter is somewhere nearby. We'd better find our companions before the moose goes. Another door! <laughs> Though their voices are not faint. The highway always finds a way. No matter the obstacle. Use this new trick to my advantage. I will walk among them, yet not be one of them. Do you see those guards ahead? Well, why don't you approach as if one of them? And then give them a big, nasty surprise. I heard the mewing of an Asir kitten. My husband should have stamped on you when he had the chance. But mercy is no flaw of mine. I will see red vengeance on all of you for what you have done. 
<laughs> and I will enjoy watching you fail. You should have stayed in Asgard. Thor lends me strength. You fight well. Better than your woman. At least. Come at me then! Let's finish this! Oh, I'll be back. I will hunt you to the far corners of the Nine Worlds. Treasure every moment, Javi. For death is at your heels. And you know not the hour it will find you! Shinara! Damn you to hell! Beat Sinmara? I never dreamed I'd see it. Fate has truly sent us a hero. Look around in the woods. That will set us on our way. symbol, a dwarf mark. It points the way to the shelter. Let's examine the map for any clues. See here, Javi. This is a map of Svartalfheim. You can see the shelter should be nearby. There are other shelters too. We only have a rough idea of their locations. But when you get close, you'll see the signs. Wait to see their faces when we arrive. Fimbar, Hro, Old Garot, and his dirty beard. Fimbar still owes me twenty silver from losing at cards. Bet he thought he'd got away with it too. 
Remind me never to play you at cards. Ha! The day you part with a coin is the day the sky falls down. Another! We must be getting close! It is a hard path we walk. Well hidden. Has to be, or else the Moose Wolves would find it. But day by day, they're learning to read the signs. And once that happens, no dwarf will ever be safe again. Where is the next sign? It should be here! Hidden, perhaps? Let's look around. You found it, Happy! Good work. Let's be on our way, then. It can't be far now. Follow me! Wait! You're sure it's that way? We are getting closer. Are you sure about that? Yes. We should go left after the next sign. No, no. I'm certain it's to the right. You are mistaken, as usual. Follow my lead. Be I took a wrong turn. I told you, didn't I? Less haste, more care. Let's retrace our steps. right path. The sons of Ivaldi have steered us true. I see it now. Have a little faith, Halstain. I know what I'm doing, Halstain. Oh, shut your faith. Who are these sons of Ivaldi you mentioned? Ivaldi is a name well known to me, but he never spoke of children. Yes, he was your slave once, wasn't he? Halstain. Oh, sorry. Perhaps slave wasn't the right word. Uh, your freedom deficient associate? The sons of Ivaldi are those who follow Ivaldi's teachings. We're not all male either, though you can be sure whoever came up with the name was. Ivaldi learned much from the Essia during his time in Asgard. Not least the value of being prepared for unexpected attack. After his return, we set up a network of shelters. Bolt holes in case of disaster. It's thanks to us there are any dwarves left free at all. If freedom's what you can call it. Speaking of which, First order of business is to find the chief and warn him about those moose spells. Else there'll be no one left for us to protect. Sigrun and Halstein! Well, slap my bollocks and call me an elf. You found us! And with all those moose spells on our doorstep. You know about the moose spells? Wouldn't be much of a chief if I didn't. Hope you didn't wear yourself out coming out to warn us. Actually, we kinda did. And who's this you've got with you? I am Harvey, called Wolfsbane. Raven Guard, the High One of Asgard. That right. They call me Brood, our scratcher, snot snorter, he of the crusty toe. Javi is here because we have an enemy in common. Surtra has taken his son captive. He fought Sinmara to a standstill. I saw it. Surtr, eh? 
Any enemy of that oversized stack of hearth sweepings is a friend of mine. Come inside. You two, get some rest. Wait, Javi. Before you go, I have another gift. We would not have made it here without you. No, I, without you, my friends. I'd say we're even. Take this all the same. It's silica. Bring it to a blacksmith, and they will put it to good use on your behalf. Thank you, Sigrun. And you, Halstein. May our paths cross again soon. Silica. You must have done something right. That stuff's rarer than hen's teeth these days. The Muspels. Aye. They seized the mines, and now they guard them carefully. Bunch of overly flammable bastards. Still, if you ever need more, you're welcome to slaughter your way to one of their stockpiles. My son is in Sutra's clutches. I have no time for diversions. Might be you change your mind once you see it put to use. Let me show you our blacksmith. Salutations, Chief. Who's your friend here? They've got too many names to remember. All you need to know is they've got silica. And the bracer of such craftsmanship as makes my hammer arm weep with envy. That's a fine thing indeed. But maybe not so fine that it can't be enhanced somewhat. Any half decent blacksmith should be able to help you improve it. Assuming you have the right materials, of course. Others here will be glad of a stranger's silver. Look around a while, if you like. You know my purpose. I have no time to tarry here. He asks for death who goes to battle unprepared. I'll see you at the entrance when you're ready. I have to complain, but there is far too much work. Back again so soon? It seems but a moment since I saw you last. It is said by your kind that time passes swiftly to the beat of hammer on anvil. Aye, and those who... I know I was here already, studying when the refugees started coming in. What is there to study here? Calico, porphyry, serpentine, banded nice, breccia, obsidian, silica, gold! Oh, friend, there is beauty in the earth. Here in this secret place, we gathered all we knew of the thousand facets of Ymir, from whose body sprang all creation. I dreamed of learning fantastical techniques, of crafting armor with materials never before attempted. But that dream has died, I suppose, along with so many others. Such is fate. Any other way I can help? Until next time. Work. 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 Work.
here to lend a hand. I could do with a mug of ale right about now. What do you want? The toil. I won. I have wares to sell you. I was wondering when you would show up. Flogging your shiny trinkets as usual? It's good to see you too. Still Flogging your shiny trinkets as usual? It's good to see you too. Still Indeed. And yet you are so short-sighted. When the twilight comes, it will not be for me. Perhaps you are not as you, as you like to think. You... you two have a plan... for Ragnarok. Loki has tutored me in many things, and I have put his lessons to good use in ways that not even he could ever dream of. He has misled many. <laughs> you most of all, from what I hear. You speak above your place, Imp. Then let me get back into my place I want. Care to buy any shiny trinkets, as usual? I am always happy to relieve you of your hard-found opals. And if you have no opals, I can help you earn them. Another of your schemes. Uh, fine. Tell me what you have in mind. There are many who envy my success, Javi. Vicious individuals who seek to sabotage my noble plans. Luckily, the sons of Ivaldi are more sympathetic to my situation. They too are eager to see my enemies brought to heel. You mean you bribed them? Gold and silver may have lost their value here, but the dwarves still have needs, and I am in a position to remedy those needs. Seek out their members who are in my pay, and they will provide you with contracts. Contracts? A clean word for a dirty task, no doubt. Observe my outfit, High One. Note the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates, clad in these same vestments. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum, which you can then spend here with me! Everything we sell has been time-tested, rather approved. I must take my leave. So long. Goodbye for now. You know, you ain't the first stranger to come around here. A while back, our scouts saw a Jotun creeping about. Name of Hurricane. Hurricane? No doubt she flees the wrath of Sutunga and Gunlutha. Hers was not a name I expected to hear in this place. Her presence here may be an ill omen. Or it might mean nothing at all. You as guardians like to be vague, don't you? Walk with me now. Let's have some straight talk. One thing puzzles me. You cower in these holes like rabbits. Why not fight back? We fought at first. Fought hard. But they hid our leaders. Scattered us. Once they divided us, we were done. Then join together. Raise your axes and throw them off. That simple, eh? Look. We don't even know where the others are. The shelters were planned so that if one of us was caught, we couldn't give them all away. But you could find them, I'd wager. My business is with Sutur and rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Sutur can't be killed. Could be a problem. I will find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. 
You just want your son back. But those moose spells on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Thing about moose spells, though, is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Suter. Take out their leader, they'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. And Svartilfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. But I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I will find the means to save Baldur. Good enough for now. Better approved. I must take my leave. So long. Goodbye for now. You ain't the first stranger to come around here. A while back, our scouts saw a Jotun creeping about. Name of Hurricane. Hurricane? No doubt she flees the wrath of Sutunga and Gunlutha. Hers was not a name I expected to hear in this place. Her presence here may be an ill omen. Or it might mean nothing at all. You as guardians like to be vague, don't you? Walk with me now. Let's have some straight talk. One thing puzzles me. You cower in these holes like rabbits. Why not fight back? We fought at first. Fought hard. But they hid our leaders. Scattered us. Once they divided us, we were done. Then join together. Raise your axes and throw them off. That simple, eh? Look. We don't even know where the others are. The shelters were planned so that if one of us was caught, we couldn't give them all away. But you could find them, I'd wager. My business is with Suter and rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Suter can't be killed. Could be a problem. I will find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. You just want your son back. But those moose spells on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Thing about moose spells, though, is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Suter. Take out their leader, They'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. And Svartilfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. But I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I will find the means to save Baldur. Good enough for now.
And rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Suter can't be killed. Could be a problem. I will find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. You just want your son back. But those moose spells on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Thing about moose spells, though, is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Suter. Take out their leader, they'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. And Svartilfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I will find the means to save Baldur. Good enough for now.
They will attack on sight here. They will attack on sight here.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Want any trouble?
de la Eon für Alderstab.
What ails you? Have you lost someone out here? In a manner of speaking. I'm waiting for someone to return from an errand. You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. There's little I wouldn't believe. Speak while you have my ear. I have a crow, Kraka. Found him, injured, back when the invasion started. I nursed him to health and he chose to stay with me. We share a bond. I swear it's like he scouts the land, and I can understand what he sees. Have you ever known such a thing? It sounds most familiar. So your crow is lost. Out here? Not out here, up there. On that damn lump of rock in the sky. Reckon there's something good, something really valuable up there. So I sent Cracker to see what he could find. He's got a talent for finding treasure, you see. So up he went. And that was the last I saw of him. Then I shall keep an eye out for your cracker. Unless you can sprout wings of your own, I don't see how. I'm full of surprises, dwarf.
must be nearby. from here. track.
Baldo were here, he would surely find one down in these crystals. He has a child's innocence, my boy. I pray he has it still, after all of this. These dwarves, I need them, though it chafes me to admit it. Be gracious, Harvey. Humble and patient. Looking for some work, yes? Frida offers much to choose from. Don't be a stranger. Don't close my eyes. I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern in Old Dark. Oh, sweet me. Dry ale. Pickled acorns. They are still working so far. Seems like you've got enough materials to enhance your bracer. Give it here and let me see what I can do. A pass here? Here? There's plenty of work to go around. You ever feel like chipping in? Good day there! May fortune shine upon you as it has on me. <laughs> You're very light of heart, considering the plight of your people. Oh, it's a tragedy, no doubt. Plenty of work to go around. You ever feel like chipping in? Oh, good day there! May fortune shine upon you as it has on me. <laughs> You're very light of heart, considering the plight of your people. Oh. It's a tragedy, no doubt. Glad tale. There have been few enough of late. I'm a blacksmith. Good as any man. <sighs> but you try telling that to them up there. If you don't have hairy forearms and a beard, they'll go somewhere else. Business was bad. No one gave me a chance. Thought a woman's hammer toil was inferior. Those clod-brained dunces. Then, the invasion. We fled to this shelter, and I'm the only smith down here. Are they paying attention now? <laughs> you bet they are. The finest armor, the sharpest swords. They sing the praises of Elga the smith now. <laughs> Just sad so many had to die for them to see it. Anything else? Farewell. I am to gain, but there is far too much work. <sighs> Who goes there? I am Harvey, Lord of Asgard. You. You're a long way from home. Or are the Asir now invading us as well? Jailer of Ivaldi. <laughs> Ivaldi owes me his freedom. Where is he? I would speak with him. Be my guest. I assume you know the way to Helheim. He's... he's dead. How? How else? Or do you need both eyes to see the moose spells everywhere? <sighs> that was uncalled for. I... Walk with me. I am Gundborg, leader of this shelter. Or what remains of it now Ivaldi is gone. He was trying to make contact with the other shelters. There was an ambush, Glot's soldiers, and something else. Something worse. A creature of fire and fury. It it devoured Ivaldi whole. No doubt bred in Surtur's dungeons. Perhaps with Loki's aid before I could make him my captive. You and your captives. Regardless. Uldar fell soon after Ivaldi did. Our mines and miners, any survivors now serve Glot. Has that name meant to mean anything to me? Glot is Sutar's bastard son, 
half Mospel, half Jotun. A nightmarish being, capable of tearing a dwarf in two. People. The invaders' hunger for secrets buried deep in the ground. Ancient relics. The Muspels place great importance in them. And how do you know this? Enough, Javi. We have suffered enough. Now I must endure all these questions. Aid me with your knowledge, and I shall strike a blow against Glad and all Muspels. <sighs> In Ullor, we had someone gathering information for us. The miner, Frithjolver. He's been silent for days now. We're just unlike him. Probably dead for all I know. Anything sought by the Muspels must be mine. Where was Frithjofer last seen? Perhaps I can find him. There is a house in Uldar, its owners killed by Muspels long ago. There we would exchange messages with him. This house? How do I find it? It's the tallest house in the Jewelers District, by the city's south gate. Just look for the gold in the streets. You'll see. Frithjofer may be the key to obtaining these relics Suter seeks. I must find him. Do as you must, Lord of Asgard. I have too many burdens of my own to worry about yours as well. Is it lunchtime already? Probably.
This place is heavily guarded.
shapeshift on. Kill these bugs, so that we may both open our wings. You have my thanks. Enjoying Muspel hospitality, I see. They caught me before I could steal what I came for. For my master, the dwarf below. Kraka, he calls me. Long ago, I invaded this land. The dwarves fought back. Wounded, I changed form, hid as a crow before the dwarves could finish me. Believing me to be a mere bird, Scarvi found me. Took me in. Saw that I was healed to full strength. Never knowing your true nature. I doubt he'd welcome the news. No matter. The treasure on this rock, I must retrieve it for my master. I owe him my life. Would you aid me? I cannot offer anything in return. But Scarvi, I'm sure he could. Saved you the bother. I already have it. All I ask is you give it to Scarvi. Please. You'll not give it to him yourself? I have burdened him enough. I'll not burden him with the knowledge that he helped his enemy. He deserves better than that. Very well. Good luck to you, Kraka. And to you. Keep me in suspense, Essir. Here. I have something for you. Do? What is... It cannot be. As How I said, did you... I'm full of surprises. I, I found Kraka. He uh, has chosen his own path. <laughs> you speak as though he told you himself. What? Out with it. Kraka is a Jotun. He sought to bring you this treasure as thanks for saving his life. A Jotun? A shapeshifter? He understood my every word. The things I confided. He said he burdened you enough. Well, that wasn't his choice to make. He... He should have... Oh. That bracer of yours, that's how you got up there. What of it? I can enhance it, should you wish, as thanks. Enhance it how? Meet me at my forge, and I'll show you how. Of course, same could be said for any smith worth his or her salt. And these rocks in the sky, if you find any more treasures on them, bring them to me and I'll see what I can do. Very well. I'll meet you at the shelter.
close my eyes, I got you. I am back in my favorite tavern in Uldar. Oh, sweet me, to try a matter of time before Glot finds us. Ah, an outsider. Tell me, stranger, have you seen any heaps of dwarven bodies piled high, moose spells reaving the land, ruined villages? Well, there have been... As I thought, the invasion is nothing but a fiction, dreamed up by our rich masters so they can add to their wealth. Well, two can play at that game. Many rare gems lie unguarded while we hide underground. Bring them to me, and I will see you well rewarded. You do not believe there has been an invasion? Control, young Aesir. It's all about control. If you aren't a shepherd, you're a sheep. But you could simply go outside and see for yourself. I don't need to. It's already plain as day. Oh, don't tell me you've fallen for it too. The moosebells I've slain were no lie. And I've seen more dead dwarves than I can count. Oh, no. Yeah, you're one of them, aren't you? Oh, spare me your falsehood, serpent tongue. The truth cannot be denied. I'll see what I can find for you. Ah, oh, good to see you again. Oh, where did you get that? I haven't seen those kind of materials for a long time. Collect more. And I can use them to make something special. Farewell. Even towards thy sunlight. I haven't seen any for too long. If I close my eyes, I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern in Old Dark. Oh, I'd ask that if you have no plans to be of use to us, then continue on your path. My people need you. If only King Hraithmar was still alive. Anatia! Me or mine! Oh, you won't follow me! Songs of my deeds follow me. My enemies do not. Well, if you're sure. Not many know this place, not even the other dwarves. That's how we'd like to keep it. You prize your secrecy here, even more than other dwarves I've met. Well, of course. They'd only just discovered this place when the invasion began. Those of us nearby were herded in quick. Best thing we can do now is to keep our heads down. Don't need strangers going in and out, bringing who knows what to our door. I am no friend to Muswell or Jotun. Glad to hear it. See that it stays that way.
anything else. Speak up. Enough of this. Working so hard that even McCallister's has blisters. We don't want more trouble. this time. Yes, no need to remind me. Oh, it was only a little blood. Who are you talking to? Shh, shh, shh. Can you hear us? <clears throat> I'm speaking to no one, good sir. Take a seat. Let me get my needles and blades. You spoke of voices when none are to be heard. Are you moon-touched? Voices? <laughs> the very idea that crystals can talk and that they would be speaking to me. These new visions of Odin trouble me.
these new visions of Odin trouble me? Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svartilfame hold some other meaning? Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment.
Thank <laughs> you. I hear you seek tales of Svartal pain. You are not alone in your glimpses of the Aesir. You have seen them too? No. Only the power the visions hold, and their effect on those ones held dear. You? Speak of Sigurd. Do you want my tale or not? <sighs> there was a dwarven miner who cared only for his work. Mining was all he knew, all he wanted to know, and all he would ever know.
I hear you seek tales of Svartal pain. You are not alone in your glimpses of the Aesir. You have seen them too? No. Only the power the visions hold, and their effect on those ones held dear. You... speak of Sigurd. Do you want my tale or not? <sighs> there was a dwarven miner who cared only for his work. Mining was all he knew, all he wanted to know, and all he would ever know. As the hours passed, the squeaking continued relentlessly. When the miner could take no more, he split the boulder apart with his pick, and then he saw a squirrel. Until now, pinned by the boulder, afraid and tired, the freed squirrel climbed into the miner's long beard and slept for three days. When the dwarf awoke the next day, he found fruit and nuts waiting for him. A gift from the squirrel. The first the miner had ever received. Finally, the miner had a friend. The squirrel led the dwarf to a stone hill within a lake. There, the dwarf would fish for supper while the squirrel played in the trees. One night, watching his fishing line, the dwarf drifted off to sleep, smiling, enjoying the happy squeaks of his friend above. When the sun rose, its light did not find the dwarf, for he had turned to stone, his short-lived bliss captured evermore. The squirrel? It never left his side, hoping his friend would awaken, just as the miner had waited for the squirrel to do the same. Sigurd, he is not lost to us. Tove, how have you been? The fire made me think of the myths and legends Sven loved. Would you indulge me with a tale? I would be glad to hear of Svartalfheim. I would not tell it half as well, but his favorite was a fable to remind us to find meaning in our deeds and not in how others think of us. Svartalfheim was not short of legendary dwarven blacksmiths. Everyone has heard of Ivaldil, Brokkr, Sindri. But this tale is of a stonemason. He lived as far south as he could where Gulnamar meets Vangvin. His workshop sat upon the shoreline. Obsessed with glory, his love of masonry had all but died. He scoured the shore, seeking precious stones washed up from other realms. Then he saw it. Something beautiful glittering, shimmering across the water, upon an island he had never dared travel to. He hastily built a boat, working long into the night. He set sail and found no... Svartalfheim was not short of legendary dwarven blacksmiths. Everyone has heard of Ivaldil, Brokkr, and Sindri. But this tale is of a stonemason. He lived as far south as he could, where Gulnamar meets Vangvin. His workshop sat upon the shoreline. Obsessed with glory, his love of masonry had all but died. He scoured the shore, seeking precious stones washed up from other realms. Then he saw it. Something beautiful, glittering, shimmering across the water. Upon an island he had never dared travel to. He hastily built a boat, working long into the night. He set sail and found no remembered for all time. Then he felt a sudden sting on his foot. Then another and another. His eyes adjusted to the dark. 
So consumed was he by his desire for renown, he failed to realize he had walked into a nest of snakes until it was already too late. And so, clutching the stone that sealed his fate, there he died. Remembered, yes, but only for his folly. A fine tale, Toby, and well told. This man would be proud. Gulnamar meets Vangvin. His workshop sat upon the shoreline. Obsessed with glory, his love of masonry had all but died. He scoured the shore, seeking precious stones washed up from other realms. Then he saw it. Something beautiful, glittering, shimmering across the water. Upon an island he had never dared travel to. He hastily built a boat, working long into the night. He set sail and found men remembered for all time. Then he felt a sudden sting on his foot. Then another, and another. His eyes adjusted to the dark. So consumed was he by his desire for renown, he failed to realize he had walked into a nest of snakes until it was already too late. And so, clutching the stone that sealed his fate, there he died. Remembered, yes, but only for his folly. A fine tale, Toby, and well told. This man would be proud. You and Bridget well. Of course. I just... The flames soothe my mind. As do the tales told here. Wood for the trees. Redmar. Greatest of dwarven kings. Within his palace in Gulnamar. He wanted for nothing except an heir. Raidmar and his wife had grown old, perhaps too old. Late one night, consumed with worry, Raidmar walked in the shadow of his vast mountain top palace, tears in his eyes. A great king! What ails you? A voice said, afraid, Redmar saw no one. Who goes there? He replied. Then he saw who addressed him, a vast and ancient tree, perhaps almost as old as Ymir himself. Redmar sat upon its roots and told the tree he feared he was too old to give his subjects the legacy they deserved. The tree was so moved, it wept and offered its tears to Raidmar. Drink, great king, it said, and your woes shall be washed away. Raidmar observed the grass, the meadows, the leaves of the tree. His subjects' happiness could be seen in how they cared for the land. His legacy was all around him. Raidmar felt at ease, realizing he had everything he needed, and asked 
that the land received the tree's gift instead. The tree's happy tears both. Then he saw who addressed him, a vast and ancient tree, perhaps almost as old as Ymir himself. Raidmar sat upon its roots and told the tree he feared he was too old to give his subjects the legacy they deserved. The tree was so moved, it wept and offered its tears to Raidmar. Drink, great king, it said, and your woes shall be washed away. Ridmar observed the grass, the meadows, the leaves of the tree. His subjects' happiness could be seen in how they cared for the land. His legacy was all around him. Raidmar felt at ease, realizing he had everything he needed, and asked, that the land received the tree's gift instead. The tree's happy tears flowed evermore, enriching the land. Nine moons passed, and a baby's cry rang through Raymar's path. Long would dwarves place gifts in the weeping tree's roots, in memory of Raymar. And his kindness that shaped all he touched. All things happen when they should, old friend. Mm. I hope so. To all the tree, he feared he was too old to give his subjects the legacy they deserved. The tree was so moved, it wept and offered its tears to Raidmar. Drink, great king, it said, and your woes shall be washed away. Raidmar observed the grass, the meadows, the leaves of the tree. His subjects' happiness could be seen in how they cared for the land. His legacy was all around him. Raidmar felt at ease, realizing he had everything he needed, and asked that the land receive the tree's gift instead. The tree's happy tears flowed evermore, enriching the land. Nine moons passed, and a baby's cry rang through Raidmar's path. Long would dwarves place gifts in the weeping tree's roots, in memory of Raidmar and his kindness that shaped all he touched. All things happen when they should, old friend. Mm. I hope so. Spending too much time drinking Valka's special sauces again. I am troubled by visions of Odin and of Svatsalfim. They flood my mind without warning, without invitation. Aha! Which is how Thor flooded Svartalfheim. Thor, fast to act, but not so fast to think, would stomp and thump. Fight and bump everywhere he and Mjolnir should go. One day, he fought a giant. In your mountains rose up, hills tore apart, creating canyons. And north of Svaladal, the massive lake that housed the springs of Yggdrasil split open, 
flooding all of Svartalfheim. The dwarf king, Kraithmar, acted swiftly. He built three mighty dams, preventing further damage to his realm, working alongside his beloved subjects. So surprised was one builder to see the great king working as an equal that he slipped, tumbling into the raging waters below. Without hesitation, Raithmar leapt, once from his horse and again from the center of the dam's lip, diving into the frightful torrent. Before the builder could even cry for help, Raithmar was pulling him onto dry land. And so two giant statues were built to honor the king, one for each leap of unthinking bravery, and stood until the end of days. Until Ragnarok. Aye! So you see, actions ripple outward, like a stone falling into a lake. Or like Thor crushing a Jotun skull with Mjolnir. Affecting everything. Whether foretold or unknown. I... fear my tale has only worsened your concerns. Hmm? No, a good story is... Uh, a lark that feeds a mind's flame. Thank you, friend. Vision of Svartalfheim.